right, so here's the now two-time UFC flyweight champion, Brandon Moreno, goes to Rio de Janeiro, beats Davis and Figueredo, in all likelihood the fourth and final meeting, but just an incredible accomplishment in a career full of them for the assassin baby, Brandon Moreno. And still very young, but when you look at his opponent tonight, you recognize that for all that he's done, Brandon Moreno still has to do everything right to get his hand raised. He's got tremendous boxing. We saw in the Figueredo fight that he has great submission skills, but it's the game planning and the fight IQ that I've been very impressed with lately because the Kai Car France fight, John, oh. he fought so beautifully and he fought behind the game plan and ultimately got a finish. We'll see how it goes for Brandon Moreno tonight, a guy who really has had a target on his back in this division for the better part of a half decade. So you can sort of feel an uptick in terms of the crowd energy. A lot of these fans came to watch this man who you think has the skill set to be a future UFC champion. I do, John, and I will go on record saying it. I believe this kid has a huge future ahead of him. He has a ton of skills. He checks all the boxes. He's got the wrestling, he's got the grappling, he's got the cardio, he's got the toughness. He can do it all, but it is on him now to make good on all the work that him and his team have done to put him in this position. And the UFC, as you well know, does a masterful job with the matchmaking. When a fighter is this hyped and gets to this point of their career, they give him a guy who they think can beat him. We'll see how he handles this challenge tonight. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Alejandre the Cannibal Pantoja! Herb Dean, our referee Ready, for this fight. one. Ready. Good. All right, early round action here featuring the American top team trained flyweight contender, Alejandre Pantoja. Injuries limited him to just one appearance in 2020, but now he is back in a more regular competing cycle, and the results really speak for themselves. This man poses danger everywhere. The danger factor particularly high on the ground when it comes to his submission game, but if you sleep on him on the feet, he'll put you to sleep. Just ask Matt Schneider. Punches in bunches as he lands another combination there. Really doing a nice job stringing the shots. He's doing a great job of stringing the shots together. <laughs> you don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Ah, oh, that jab hurt him. Oh, who is going to be the last man standing? We're just getting started and they are getting after it. These dudes are throwing bombs. This is going to be a great fight. Strong outside leg kick. Oh, high kick. Like that. Big left hand there. Huge block there. So more output, at least in the early going. Well placed kick there by Brandon Moreno. with the left hook. There's another one. Back and forth we go. Slips the punch nicely there. Strong hook lands. 
Two minutes have ripped off the round one clock. Front kick to the body is there. Nice work by Brandon Murray. A third big body to land. It's a pretty good jab. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the feet. I mean, when you don't check, you're gonna continue to get blasted. Oh, that's a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Done to the body. Oh, you gotta start to look to finish him now. Oh, man, it's a big shot, too. Get right here. to set up that hook again. Cap kick lands, and it is starting to bruise now. Dude better check these kicks. He's not going to be able to fight too long if he doesn't. Straight punch lands. Oh, just missed with a hook. Moreno gets the takedown here late in the round. It's a strategy you see from a lot of high-level fighters to try to sway the judges late in the round. Well, nothing in the unified rule says you can't strike from off of your back, and he did well there. That horn sound what? means we have reached the end of round one. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and in survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Oh, big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he wants to try to chase down that kid. Stiff jab lands clean for Moreno. Good to Now we're going. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Lands the overhand right. Oh, he smells blood in the water. Gotta start looking for the finish here. And he blocks the shot there. Moreno's eye is 
rising up. Nice left from Moreno. Head off the center line, slips the punch. He continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Kobe Covington, Max Holloway, those guys that can fight all night. He is showing you that he has done the work in the training room, and it's on full display tonight. Under three minutes here to go in round two. How you block a strike. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You gotta think he's gonna continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer. Because right now, he seems lost to him. And one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Oh, nice body shot. Big right hand. So three minutes have flown off the fight clock there. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Oh, nice elbow. Oh, you land, I land, is how we're doing here. Pantoja's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. And he caught the kick. Slips the punch. Just missed with the left there. Well, this is kind of crazy the way this is transpiring. This jiu-jitsu fighter looks like a professional boxer here tonight. He told us about his evolution. He has absolutely taken it to the next level. He has taken it to the next level, J.A. I mean, this guy is so... Oh! He's hurt. Oh, what a kick. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike, and it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage he's taken to this cut. Easier said than done, though. 15 seconds to go. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. Oh, God. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Huh. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, let us show you all that was done in terms of the damage in that previous round. He has got a huge gash on his cheek. I mean, it was that shot right there. That one landed and opened him up. What a nasty combination thrown by his opponent. But this cut now is another issue to deal with. He's got one of the best fighters in front of him, and he's dealing with this cut on the cheek. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. All right, pretty good back and forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets up. I expect the action. Strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh, and transitions right into side control. 
All right, well, if you like blood, perhaps this is the fight for you. That cut is yeah. really starting to open up wide now. It's starting to open up, but it doesn't seem to be affecting him too bad right now. It's still bloody, but it's not really limiting his, his ability to continue. Let's see if he can get through this and win this fight. Pantoja getting work here from the top. Let's see if he goes for a sweep to try to get back to his feet. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. He continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Getting the ball here. Pantoja's right back to the full mount. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it, 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 no takedown is not fought. No reversal is not fought. Everything they're doing is fought to the very last minute before it gets given up. They're so evenly matched, and they're going to the test. Under three minutes now to go on the round. He's hurt bad. That leg kick hurt. Oh, big left. Oh, nice right hand, John. That kick blocked by Pantosha. Look, is there again? Continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh, hit kick blocked, though, by Pantu. Massive, massive hook lands, and his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Well, informed speculation says he's going to try to set up another hook here. Moreno's eye is really not looking good right now, Daniel. Starting to swell shut, and that is going to compromise his vision as this fight continues. And there's another takedown attempt. Ninety seconds to go. Well, we've seen a lot of different elements to his striking game tonight, especially that hook. We'll see if he sets it up again here. He has punctuated a lot of his combinations with that hook shot tonight. Well, you know, I'm pausing the action here. The referee never wants to be the story, but given the swelling around that eye, doctor had to be called for here, champ. Well, he's having a very difficult time picking up the opponent, seeing where his opponent is, and he's getting tagged. He's getting pieced up. Looks as though the doctor is going to allow the fight to continue for the athlete. May want to raise the guard a little bit. He's got to raise the guard. He's got to take some chances because he's very limited in what he can do right, right now with that much swelling. Right. All right, so the ref will get the action back on the way after that brief health and safety check. And to no one's surprise, the fans support the decision for the action to continue. Absolutely. I mean, this official decided he can go. Even though at times the fighter may question whether or not he can do it, we have very smart inside officials that make a determination, and the determination is get your butt out there and fight. Let's see what happens. And we have a very smart fighter who is going to have to start protecting that injury to prevent it from getting any worse. Moreno's eye is essentially swollen shut at this point in time. I'm not so sure they're not going to step in, Daniel, and stop this fight right now. Hard to be a one-eyed fighter in a mixed martial arts set. Final 30 seconds of this third round. We'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Final seconds of round three. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Pantosha. That's three rounds in the can. We're
headed to the championship round. All right, we're gonna stay with him and follow him back to the corner to the stool because that is a really severe cut that he is dealing with. We'll see if the cut man can stem the bleeding here. All right, so as the cut man gets to work, we'll re-rack some replays from the previous round. Well, he's got some work to do. The cut man's gonna have to work a miracle because this guy was on the receiving end of some real damaging shots. And if he doesn't do something different defensively, it's going to get worse. And if it gets worse, the fight may be stopped. Ready to fight? Ready. Four. Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Brandon Murray. Big roundhouse now, just misses. Another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Just out of range with the big right hand. Pantoja gets hit with a kick. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He lands a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Moreno's face is a hot mess, man. That cut on his cheek is getting worse by the minute and worse with every strike landed by his opponent. Shots landing on both sides, and the chins continue to hold up. Well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, blood's in the water. You gotta go get it. You gotta go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that, because now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you as you hold him. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Still plenty of time with which to work here, round four. Oh, well, he's gonna have to go back to the drawing board defensively, but in terms of this fight, he's been totally dominated, and that's why he's getting out of control. That's why he's getting out of control. We can't even tell who's in front of us anymore. This guy has been beat from start to finish. And right now, the only right thing, at least to me, feels like the fight didn't stop. Big shot to the body. Nice job to land the kick to the body. Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 45 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Brandon, the assassin baby, Marino! All right, well, he's never afraid to walk through fire to get the job done. Didn't have to tonight. Brandon Moreno, your winner by knockout. I mean, he landed the punch that ended his opponent's night, but it was all set up with his fantastic striking over the course of the fight. What a big performance by Brandon Moreno.